This is ice cream, but it's not any ice cream. This is animal-based ice cream. And I believe this is the healthiest ice cream on the planet. I made this ice cream using only the finest, purely animal-based ingredients. I'm gonna show you how to make probably one of the best foods on the planet, real animal-based ice cream, healthy for you, healthy for your family. Your kids will love this, you'll love this. Ice cream traditionally is a garbage food, but this is incredibly healthy for you. Let's go. It starts with raw cream. The cream is more of the milk fat. So if you look at butter, butter is about 85% milk fat, the lipid components of milk, and cream is gonna be about 40% fat. So cream is halfway to butter. And we know that 60% of the immunologically active components in raw dairy are found in the butter fat. So butter is a health food. Ice cream can be a health food, especially when it's using a raw cream. So this is raw cream right here. And the reason I'm such a fan of raw dairy versus pasteurized dairy is both based on the science and what we know about how the heating of milk changes the bioactive components that can be helpful for humans. So first and foremost, we know that raw milk contains over 700 species of bacteria that are commensal, that can help shape the human gut. This is mammalian milk, whether it's from a mother, from a human's mother's breast, from a camel, from a horse, from a cow, from a buffalo. All of these milks contain hundreds of different species of bacteria that humans have been co-evolving with for thousands of years that are beneficial. The whey protein in milk we know is beneficial for humans and we know that when you heat the milk, you lose the benefits of the whey protein. There are multiple studies in kids showing the kids who grow up drinking raw milk versus pasteurized milk have lower rates of asthma, eczema, hay fever, and allergies. And that's been repeated multiple times across multiple studies. There's also evidence that kids who drink raw milk have lower rates of upper respiratory tract infections, colds, and viruses. The literature on raw milk is astounding. It's very deep. I've talked about it in a previous podcast, which we can link to in this video with Mark McAfee from Raw Farm. I actually went to Fresno to the biggest raw dairy farm in the world and got to see the incredible nature of raw milk, how it's produced, how it's kept clean at that farm. But I'm a huge fan of raw milk and raw cream. And I really feel like so many of us have grown up our whole lives damaging our guts, antibiotics, damaging foods with lectins, plant foods with plant toxins, toxins in our environments. And that getting raw milk in your diet is almost like returning to breastfeeding. I believe that raw milk and raw dairy, whether it's raw kefir, raw milk, or raw cream, are a great way to rejuvenate the human gut, and it totally makes sense from an evolutionary naturalistic perspective. So it starts with raw cream. That is where the magic happens. Then I'm gonna add some raw egg yolks. I don't do raw egg whites, why? Because the egg white contains avidin, which binds B6. You don't wanna eat raw egg whites, but egg yolks are fair game. You guys know this, but egg yolks are incredibly nutritious. Things like choline, vitamin K2, biotin, folate, riboflavin, that is a nutritional powerhouse. I don't know why for the last few decades we've been throwing out the yolks. We've wasted so much good nutrition and been eating the whites. The whites have nutrition too, but I prefer the whites when they're cooked. If you want to eat them raw, get some raw egg yolks and that's gonna make a delicious complement to the raw milk. I mean, those two alone, an incredible nutrient powerhouse. I'm gonna use some local fruit. I'm gonna make two flavors of ice cream for you guys so you can see the colors. I'm gonna use a local mango and some dragon fruit. Look at how beautiful that is. That one's gonna be nice and red. And I have a local honey. Now I'm intentional when I think about the honey to sweeten this ice cream. Most ice cream on the shelves is sweetened with processed sugar or high fructose corn syrup. Now, neither of those is great in my opinion. High fructose corn syrup is horrible. There are all sorts of problems with this in the medical literature. I'm not a huge fan of processed sugar because of all the things that get done to the sugar to process it. But unprocessed sugars, like those found in fruit or honey, there's tons of evidence these are good for humans. And we know that things like orange juice containing fruit sugar or cherry juice or grape juice, these improve endothelial function. These improve the function of our arteries. Honey has actually been studied in diabetics and found to improve insulin sensitivity. Yes, you heard that right. Honey at doses of 125 grams per day in diabetics improved insulin sensitivity when it was measured with a fasting glucose. So there's clear evidence that honey contains many bioactive components that we don't even fully understand as humans prebiotics for the gut flora. It's been widely studied in metabolic models and found to be essentially beneficial. So I don't worry about honey as a sweetener and I don't think you should. Obviously there are some caveats depending on how metabolically healthy you are at baseline. But think about this. If you go to my website, paulsaladinomd.co, 
there's an animal-based calculator there. Based on your weight and your activity level, I'll give you some recommendations about your macros. Those of you who are more active will want to include more carbohydrates in your diet. You can eat more ice cream. Those of you who are less active, get less carbohydrates. Those of you who already have obesity that's profound or diabetes may want to scale back the carbohydrates a little more, but I still think you can include some healthy carbohydrates from fruit and honey in your diet. I believe these carbohydrates are healthy for everyone. Just scale them based on where you are in your own life. So this is local organic glyphosate free honey. When I go to the farmer's market, I ask the farmer, can you tell me about this honey? where it's produced and if there's any yeah, chemicals used? Yeah, this honey came from uh, family projects. They have an organic farm, many different things kind of farm, fruits, medicinal, ornamentals, and they also have a wild forest. So the bees are able to get many different kinds of flowers. Uh -huh. That's why the honey is so dark and is really rich because of the variety in the flowers. And there's no chemicals on the farm? No, of course not. It's an organic farm. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think I'd like to buy this one, the biggest one. Sure, great. Is there any glyphosate spraying around the honey, around the hives? And you know that if there's no glyphosate, if the farm is bigger than six kilometers in diameter, that it's pretty safe to use the honey from that farm. But you don't want honey, ideally, anywhere around plants or other agricultural crops being sprayed with glyphosate because the bees can bring that pollen back and put it in the honey. And I'm also gonna add some salt. This is a microplastic free sea salt that's from Kalima, Mexico that I'm a huge fan of. When you're thinking about sea salt, be intentional and try and select a sea salt that has low microplastics because these plastics are from garbage. We put 8 million tons of garbage in the ocean every year and that breaks down in little pieces and the salt granules crystallize around the garbage. So if you're eating a sea salt that you don't know the microplastic content, you could be eating little pieces of plastic bags, credit cards, all kinds of stuff you don't want. And these look to be harmful. We don't have great studies in humans yet. We need them in animal models. They're clearly inflammatory and problematic for the hormones. So I don't think you want to be eating plastic. It's almost certainly not gonna be beneficial or benign for humans. Last but not least, if you really want to supercharge the ice cream, you could put some raw liver in there or raw heart. I'm gonna put some beef organs from hardened soil supplements in there. That is freeze dried, heart, liver, kidney, spleen, and pancreas. And you're not even gonna be able to taste it. So I got six capsules of beef organs, six capsules of grass fed colostrum for even more of these immunoactive peptides that come with the colostrum, the first milk from cows. So this is what's going in the ice cream. This is a nutrient powerhouse. And I can guarantee that if you make ice cream with this quality of ingredients, you'll love it, your kids will love it, your grandparents will love it, your parents will love it, your brothers, your sisters will love it. You'll be the most popular person in the neighborhood and you'll feel amazing. This is how ice cream is meant to be made. This is ice cream as a true health food. But if you look at traditionally produced ice creams, they're mostly garbage. They're made with pasteurized milk. That's essentially dead milk in my opinion. Not gonna have any of the benefits of raw, unpasteurized, unheated milk or cream. They're gonna have things like carrageenan in them, a sulfated polysaccharide found in algae that we know is harmful for humans that causes all sorts of gut inflammation. You don't want that mucking up what's inside of you. You don't, you don't want that damaging your gut. Like I said, they contain processed sugars, high fructose corn syrup, and some of the vegan versions of ice cream, which to me aren't even really ice cream, contain seed oils. So definitely, do not do a plant-based ice cream. That's the worst idea. Make your own ice cream. It starts with raw dairy, good animal-based nutrients in organs, fresh or freeze-dried, colostrum, raw egg yolks, and healthy sugars in fruit and honey. Yes, I said healthy sugars and a microplastic-free sea salt. All right, so let's throw it in the blender and blend it up. All right, so just so you guys know, I'm using the clear Vitamix container to show you how it looks, to make it look better for the video, but I have a stainless steel Vitamix that I think is much better if you want to do this at home. Last step, pour it into a container, put it in the freezer, and chill for six hours, ready to go. It's time to pull it out of the freezer. It's been in there for about six hours. Look at that, it's ready. So you guys can see, super easy. Tastes like ice cream, looks like ice cream, is way healthier than mainstream ice cream. You don't have to give up ice cream in your life. Just use things like raw butter, raw cream, raw milk, organic fruit, glyphosate-free honey, microplastic-free sea salt. You can make healthy, nutritious ice cream for you and your family. Look at these colors, that's so beautiful. Dragon fruit and mango-flavored animal-based ice cream. There you have it. If you guys like this content and you're finding value in this, please like, subscribe, and share it with people in your life that need to know how to make animal-based foods and get garbage ice cream out of their life.
get more nutritious animal-based foods into their life. See you guys next time. Shit's amazing.